Well, I'm back to my Victoria 2 Korea New World Order Bot playthrough as it's 2019. How about that? We finally got to the year that this playthrough began. And remember, this start playthrough began back in May of 2019. And here we are. We finally made it there. As we are continue, I threw a whole bunch of money into my um, industry before filming all. Let's see. Went up almost 100 points, if not 800 points. As we have an election going on to try and get the progressives in power. As we moved up to third place in the world, we're trying to catch up and keep ahead of Mexico to maintain our third place lead, but it's going to be a long time before we can beat um, China to get the second place, and of course, a long, long, long time away before we can finally beat America, as they are triple our score, China's double our score. Yep, as like I said, I threw a whole bunch of money into factories before the episode began, and of course, here we go. We're going to throw money into Venezuela, as we got a reform we could do. Yeah, we'll do the subsidies. Why not? Alright. Hell no! We're progressives now! No bigotry in this country, you know that, sillies. And look at that, our industry is almost 3,000 score. Let's do that. Piss them off. Oh, that's right, we already did India. Hell no! Come on, I keep pressing on you to go down. There we go. Almost 3,000 points now. So let's go over it. Nope, can't do Peru. Or, that's right, I already did Romania. Damn it. I guess do laissez-faire. I already did Austria. Hey, Ukraine. Well, Ukraine's busy. So I can't do anything with them now. Then Portugal, maybe. Yep, there we go. From my to Portugal. And there we go. 3,000 points. I'm curious, though. Who beats us in industry score? We're fourth place, so we're beaten by America. I mean, China, America, and Italy. Yep. Oh, my God. Italy, Italy and America and China got a long way to go still. But we're coming up on you. You better be worried eventually. Maybe in a decade or so, we might be challenging you all to be number one industry. I mean, I've... I think when I began... Back in 2015, we had an industry score of, like, 2,000. Now we're at 3,000 less than five years. So, at the rate we're going, maybe another... Yeah, probably another 10 years, we might beat both... Everyone. And, of course, the freaking re I mean, populist won again. But the progressives got 23% of the vote almost. And they got almost half the vote. So. Okay, so the progressives single-handedly are just doing it themselves. They have no support, whereas the populists are getting support from other groups. So this election will now go into October. Keep them ships coming. Keep them coming. I can only imagine how weird the map looks now with a mix of orange and pink now. Do that. Yep, that looks really weird. That looks very weird indeed. Alright, now. China, what are you doing? Trying to come in to my control. Philippines, what are you doing too? Get out! And no, I'm not trying to influence... Australia right now. I'm trying to do Pakistan. Oh no, don't tell me I got kicked out. Oh no, 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 don't tell me I got banned. I have no idea if I got banned or not. Looks like I didn't. I don't think I did. But of course, now I'm not making money again because my factories are doing so shitty, but so I'm got to get rid of the tariff. I mean, get rid of the negative tariff and get it neutral. So now I'm making money again. You know what? I wonder if it's maybe time to do it. I think it might be time soon to go um, encourage the capitalists to take over by now. Let's see how they do as I cancel the subsidies. Full citizenship. Let's see how the factories do on their own. As I just cut their subsidies. 
Let's see if the capitalists are smart enough to take over on their own. Uh, I have no idea yet. I think my industry score went up a little bit. But not by much, though. Yes, participate. Nope, do that. Let's see. Oh, the races will be very angry. See, Korea is not even majority Korean anymore. Plurality now. Let's check out the election results. As we are the progressives. Ooh, they're catching up. 24%. Getting there. Of course, that probably hurt. Yeah, that helped the populace, unfortunately. Oh, boy, that bites. And here we go. Fourth generation planes unlocked. As, well, fourth generation warfare, I mean to say. Now I gotta think of that could be a target. Bunch of these right here in the 9,000s. These are options too. Like 11,000. Like a lot of these are like extremely expensive. It's like warfare now is like the cheapest tech to go for. Yep, still so far. Military has been the cheapest. But you know what? We're going to go with this one instead. We're going to do some industry first. But of course, it won't be till 2020. So how about that? We're not going to do offshore drilling until the 2020s. 30 years ahead of time. We're so backwards, I mean to say. Do that. Help our citizens. Okay, our industry score is going up. So hopefully maybe the capitalists are doing their job. I can only hope. Do that. But our, industry, our, our um, score is still not going up. China is still at war with America. Oh my god. Unbelievable. And of course the Islamic State exists. Although I think we already knew that beforehand. Unbelievable. Unbelievable! America still is at war with China. Unbelievable. Fix our relationship with Pakistan. As we're just slowly going up because our relationship is so bad with them. Oh my god, my industry is taking a shit now. Because the capitalists are dumbasses that don't know how to run fa factories and all. Throw money into Denmark. Since I have to throw my money into other places in order to catch up with them. Wow, let's throw money into you. Interventionalists. Lip okay, you can't do Lithuania. And here we go for work at you. Damn it! They still won by just a close margin. Oh, the populace might do it this time. They might actually win next time. But we gotta keep applying pressure to get them in power. Yeah, lowered the militancy. As my factories are going out of business, I don't like that. That gets me very, very angry. Because you capitalists suck dick. I guess we're going to have to soon go to post-capitalist society. Hmm. I think I already threw money into them. Full citizenship. El Salvador, throw money into you. As Singapore, throw money into you. As we're now into November, throw money into Santo Domingo? Ain't that Dominican Republic? No, Iran, no access for you. Throw money into you. All right, we got our industry score right back up where it once was, but still not high enough. All right, now, um, interventionless again, as we are now going to go for Panama. Throw money into you. And, oh! Whoa! That it's a Korean dash. What? Dude, we are Korea. We're independent. Why are Korean nationalists revolted? Shit. Now we're finally gonna do something for once. What are you all sitting around for? Kill? 
the Nationalists. Kill them all right now. And of course, that's not what I pressed on. I pressed on you. Dick. Oh my god, they are everywhere. This could be in big trouble as they're dropping dead like flies. Oh shit, and they're fading soul right now. We better get rid of them before they cause us trouble as they continue to die everywhere. What are you all still doing? Get rid of them! I wonder if this is the populace's like last stand to try and keep power. Fucking dicks. As we are now in the 2020s. We are now in 2020. As we are now in current year. Fix our relationship with Pakistan as we continue to get rid of these rebels rising up. Jesus, I wonder... Oh god, please don't tell me there's some more... Like, out here, maybe. Look like Indonesia's having rebel problems, too, perhaps. Okay, good. No rebels out here, thankfully. But that will wrap it up here. So, see you guys next time.